for customers who want to buy a lab-grown diamond with the idea that it's the most sustainable choice, I would suggest that they really research where the lab-grown diamonds are coming from. And as you can see, this is very efficient. It's able to do this within a couple of seconds. We get a pass result. So that tells us that it has detected the natural signature of the diamond, and the other sample is a natural diamond. Both of them have the same appearance. In the past, poor quality laboratory grown uh, diamonds, you could actually identify by eye. But nowadays, by eye, unfortunately, because they're chemically the same material as the natural stones, they're imperceptible, you can't see. There's some man-made diamonds that are produced with hydro energy or, or solar energy, and then you have some that are produced with grid power that's being fed by coal. And then you have some, you know, natural diamond production operations that are very efficient and, you know, very thoughtfully run from an environmental impact standpoint. So there's a, a lot of variations. So I think to just say that, you know, man-made diamonds are the eco-friendly alternative is, is, is too simple um, of a narrative. It's, it's much more nuanced than that. when we're using materials that have caused harm to other people and the environment to create a symbol of love and commitment or identity, to me it feels at odds. We take um, the privilege of making jewelry for other people very seriously and we want to only work with materials that we feel like our clients would be proud to own.